So what they're saying is that, again, we took 20 minutes, but these group right here was right behind us. <laughs> Here's what happens. So if we took 20 minutes, then that means that they came off of hole off, nine, the and, they have not, and they have not yet carved off, off on hole 10, then the group behind us green. had to take 20 minutes to get from nine to 10. And so they're saying they want to kick us off the hole, and this is former Commissioner Steve Cronister. Congratulations, you're, so, you're a real winner. When you golf, while black. So they I'm say they want to kick us up. off the hole because we took a break in between the holes Man, and the people behind us had not even teed off yet. All right. Back off, okay? Yes. Back off. They don't want you. Why? This is what she does for a living. Ouch. Incorrect there, Steve Cronister. You see, Sandra Thompson is a lawyer and the president of the York chapter of the NAACP. Wrong one to mess with, Stephen. We asked you three times now to remove yourself from the premises. You have yet to remove yourself. And what, what, why, did, why, why is it that we took, why did you say you were removed us from the premises? What, what was the confrontation? You came to us, we, was, we were trying to tee off, and you came, you, five of you men came up to us. We'll wait. So they're, so they're not teeing off. They're, they're still taking a break, taking, you know. A ruthless pathetic scene at Grandview Golf Club in Pennsylvania. Per Thompson, their day started out delayed as frost on the course pushed the group back roughly 39 minutes per golf digest. Though a foursome is the norm, the club allowed their fivesome to play together. The first part of this troublesome story began when the women were backed up because the group in front of them had yet to clear the fairway. That's when Steve Cronister, seen here, sped over in his car to confront the ladies. You can see the quotes via Golf Digest. Another nugget, this was their first time playing at this course as members of the club. Quite a welcome, don't you think? As the ladies played on, Steve called the cops. When the dispatcher asked, no weapons or anything like that, right? The elder Cronister replied, it's even worse than that. But anyway, I can't, Cronister said. The dispatcher cut off Cronister, asking him to clarify. Okay, sir, there's no weapon right the dispatcher asked no crowns just said other than her mouth there's not any weapons thompson would later say the only other difference between us and the other players was our race and our gender after the five some played the front nine three women left leaving thompson and a friend they just finished a break and were going to start the back nine when employees plus the owner of the club told them they took too long and the police were called the police would say that once they arrived at the course, it was clear that law enforcement did not need to be involved. Damon Carter Mann, who played behind the group of five, said, Not one time, from hole one to nine, did we catch up with those ladies. If that's what was happening, if they were targeted because of their gender or because of their race, it's a shame. They maintained they were threatened, humiliated, bullied. In a game they adored, at a club where they were members, quote, they tried to ruin what we loved, said Sandra Thompson. The women are seasoned golfers, playing not just in the United States, but all over the world. So keeping pace is easy money for them. Because of their actions, the course was sued by two of the five women they punished for a false allegation of slow pace of play. Maybe not what the chronisters had in mind after their unjustifiable actions took place. 